Hey everybody, I'm in downtown Bangor this morning. I gotta tell you, we got a hell of a show for you this week. We're gonna start down in beautiful Acadia National Park where the boys and I are gonna do one of our final run-throughs of cold water work before we have our formal Wim Hof breathing training in just a couple of weeks with Chris Ty Melodista. Then we're gonna to go to the forests of Latvia where we're gonna show you where these bad boys come from and what you can do with them for your health. And finally, we're gonna go into more detail about the deep tissue body work we've been showing you when we work with really top level MMA fighters in Europe. So don't miss a minute of it. Buckle up your seatbelts because I am Dan Sykes and this is Emergency Fish Park. Emergency Fish Party. Very normal. We walk. This is gonna be cool. All right, so there's nothing like good, clean, organic ocean water to start the morning out. And let's go guys, nice and slow, here we go. How are you feeling? I feel great. I, I feel like maybe somehow I secretly met Wim Hof already. I, I really don't feel that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Now the real test. The three of us are gonna go out into the ocean and see how long we can stay up to our necks in the water. Three. Four. Oh, I'm back. You know, they say you get used to it. Not true so far. I think I've accepted my fate long enough. Now I'm gonna cheat fate. Some people fear dogs, some people fear cats. Some people fear getting salt water up their nose while they're doing push-ups. Uh, and we're gonna confront this fear of salt water going up your nose while doing push-ups right here at Sand Beach, starring the illustrious Dan and Grant. And now, for your entertainment pleasure, and of course our training pleasure as well, forward rolls into the surf. Three. Now let's forward roll back, yeah. Forward roll back. <laughs> I just nailed my shoulder. I didn't forward roll, I dropped flat on a rock. Not recommended. I could have been a contender. Oh, then I went to Sand Beach. Many types of pain in this world. I just discovered a new one. And now at last, it is time to tell you all what these bad boys are all about. Who can guess what this is? It's absolutely hard, it's brittle, it's like cork that's 100 years old. It is like that. And yet, this is a mushroom, believe it or not. These mushrooms grow on birch trees. They're used extensively in Russia and throughout Eastern Europe, but they even grow right here in the great state of Maine. And the guys on the team drink tea made out of chaga all the time. We do it to relax our muscles before training or deep tissue body work. Chaga is also known to reduce inflammation and stimulate the immune system. Now you shouldn't drink chaga on a regular basis if you're on blood thinners or diabetes medicine, but if you're in general good health, Chaga has no side effects. It tastes a lot more like tea than any kind of mushroom flavor, and it's great for you in so many ways. Let's head back last summer when we were visiting producer Martin Kisses at his country home, and we found this very chaga deep in the forests of Insiums, Latvia. 
chaga actually grows because a tree has a deficiency um, and needs structure. Um, and so the chaga uh, actually helps the tree live and the tree helps the chaga, they help each other. Now chaga is grown in only one in 10,000 white birch trees. Maybe if we're lucky we will find them. So we want to find that one up there, live white birch there would have chaga. Um, there's more, so maybe up the hill we find white birch so, trees. So we go like for this quest. So we find here. the tree first and then see if we can see a, a big growth on the tree. Big yeah. black okay. growth. Yes. I'll take some of it. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Watch out. That's good. Oh wow. Nice piece. Beautiful piece of chocolate. It's beautiful, so there's a lot of black on this. A lot of black. As opposed to the red. Yeah. yeah. And the black is where the concentration of the nutrients comes from. The red is good too. Wow. It's yeah. great. So we will, um, we can either dry this or roast it. This is a lot of chaga. This is a lot of chaga for, for tea uses. So this is good stuff. So there's two kinds of ways you can brew chaga. One is when you've got it like we just broke it up by hand. And that, you really have to cook it. You dump it into a saucepan. I don't have too much chaga here, but we'll get some water going. And then we will put this on the stove on a hot flame. But the more conventional way is to put your chunks in a coffee grinder and have it be sort of like this consistency, sort of like coffee grounds. And if you do that, you can put it into a conventional teapot and steep it like you would any other tea. The difference being, <laughs> wow. The difference being that I'm going to fill this up, normal tea would be ready in about five minutes. Chaga, you really want to wait more like 20 minutes at least. Chaga is kind of expensive in most places, but the cool thing is if you put enough to make a pot of tea, you let this steep for about 20 minutes, you use this all up, you can add water to it even because it's going to be kind of strong. And you can use this same ground chaga for two, three, sometimes even four pots of chaga before you have to replace it. So even though it's expensive to buy even in bulk, you can really brew it multiple times in both forms. And that's all there is to it. My personal training is MMA, but uh, most of all like wrestling, you know, grappling for wrestling. Uh, guys from our gym can go boxing, MMA, K1, uh, Judo, we are going to all the championships. And MMA is it's one of sports where you're using all your muscles. So the big problem with sportsmen, I think it's with problem uh, is big places, it's, a, it's back, back problems. It's a new feeling for me, a lot of years of working, I was in different massages with, with doctors, so with others. It's a new way for me, you know, it's quite tough. You know? I have places where I have problems, you know. I'm only feeling relaxing all the time, but I feel places where I need to work. But now it's new because I feel like my blood is going on my, to my head better. It's interesting. And that's gonna do it, everybody. Another great episode for you. Thanks again to our friends at Sparta MMA School in Riga, Latvia. We had a great time training with them. 
We're gonna leave you off with a little musical offering featuring our musical guest from episode three, Mr. Owen Conforte. This is a scene from my feature film, Colossus, where Owen and the band perform live on the streets of St. Petersburg, Russia. Hope you enjoy that and hope you join us again real soon. In the meantime, we will be here punching, kicking, and whipping our way to profound relaxation. So join us again right here on Emergency Fish Party. Next time on Emergency Fish Party. Why are they going so easy now? <laughs>